Hello, my friends. If you guys like what you see, I would really appreciate if you did hit that subscribe button and as well hitting that bell notification so you always know when we upload. Yeah, I would really appreciate that. Thank you again, and please enjoy the video. Hey guys, it's Naya here, or if you still call me Pat, hi, it's Pat here too, and welcome to the first ever Minecraft Roleplays tutorial video here on the channel. A lot of people, and I mean a lot of people have been asking me for quite some time now how I go about making my own Minecraft Roleplays, and I wanted to basically show you guys exactly what I do so that you guys could do it yourselves. Um, for people who are just coming here for the first time to check out this video, um, first off, hi, how you doing? Thank you for clicking on my channel. <laughs> but, um, I've been doing Minecraft roleplays for many, many years now, and the mods that we're currently showing off in the background, been using for almost two years now. So, I'm pretty well versed as to what I'm doing when it comes to these particular mods. So, I hope you will, you know, take my video and, uh... Hopefully you'll learn a little bit from it. The first video that we're going to be doing is the basics of character creation. Now, if you've already done a Minecraft roleplay in the past and you want, you've already know how to make your own character, please, I recommend sticking through the video to the end because I'm guaranteed there is still something that you're going to learn today. Um, so I, you know, stick with it. I really appreciate it. And um, let's get this show on the road. Oh, before we continue this any longer, um, this is going to be for the PC version of Minecraft. Specifically, the 1.12 version of Java Minecraft. So unfortunately, you can't access these particular mods on, on mobile, consoles, bedrock. Um, yeah, that's the first bit. Just to make sure. Make sure you have the Java version of Minecraft and you will be able to access all these mods for you. Alright, so here we go. Character creation. How do we go about it here? Well, besides the many, 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 um, like, you know, hours upon hours of character design, character references, writing out what your character is going to be, character personalities, blah, blah, blah. Let's just skip all of that. And let's just say you've got this skin and you're ready to do this. Well, first off... You're going to want to be accessing the 1.12 version of Minecraft Java. Um, I recommend doing a very, very new version, most updated version of Java, because uh, some of these mods will not work with earlier versions of Java. So I recommend doing a later version, uh, a more recent version of Java. And you're going to be wanting to do these two big mods. First off, you want to get the mod called More Players Models. Very, very important. And next, in behind me, as you can see, we're going to be using Blockbuster. Which, Blockbuster is a few mods put together that you're going to want to download together. So, I recommend, uh, you know, I'll link them down in the description. Or at least I'll link them to the creator of Blockbuster. So, you can go check out if you want to know the advanced versions of Blockbuster. Which, by the way, we'll get to that eventually. But yeah, so, first off, once you have all your mods installed... Um, if you need a like, tutorial version, there's plenty of tutorials on how to get Minecraft Java running and get mods installed. I recommend checking those out if you don't know how to do so. But once you have those mods installed, in order to access more player models, first off, you hit your F12 key on your computer. There you go. We have F12. And now all of a sudden, you can see here, we have all of these characters. I kind of have a bad habit of keeping all my characters on one instance so this is literally every character i've ever role played in the past two years <laughs> so by default you're probably going to be seeing this this you're probably going to see your pixel skin that you normally would do for minecraft here but say you have a hd skin that you want to use but you can't do it normally through minecraft you have to do it through more player models so in order to do so you press F12, you go make a new instance. So let's just say we make a new instance and just call this yes. Why not? We'll just call it yes. Scroll all the way down. Why did I call it yes? I should have called it like A or something. And you hit edit and then you go to options, which by the way, options will give you an option to basically paste a link to your skin. You just paste it in there, you close out of it, boom, you will turn into said skin. And that is how I'm able to do any of these skins. Aw, look at Timpu. Aw, I miss this baby. <laughs> um, one thing to note is like, how do you import a skin URL? I recommend using either um, Imager 
uh, which is a website they just you just upload photos and you grab links that way or you upload your skins to a discord server that no one really uses um, then you extract the links that way and then you import them into Minecraft just by copy pasting the link and it will come up on your character pretty dang simple that's what I recommend if you don't have access to either of those there's probably other ways that you can place your photos um there's probably some other sites that you could use i just personally use imager and uh discord servers the most very very easy and yeah also too for people who are asking how do i get an hd skin well you have to be an artist first <laughs> or at least know somebody who is an artist that can draw these um, and yeah, I personally do not make my own HD skins. I hire people to make these skins. That's what you see in the background here. These are all skins that I've had people make in the past. So that, so get someone who can actually draw them. Um, one thing to note too, if you start making your skins too big or too hd defied, um, you're going to lag yourself. If you don't have a good computer, just no, you're gonna lag yourself if you have too many HD skins, especially if you're doing it on a server with a bunch of friends Yeah, you're gonna lag your server. So that's a uh, that's first off next up after you do this Oh, by the way too if you wanted to say edit your body You can go to scale and you're able to literally make your head and everything your arms do whatever you want So say if you wanted like a um, your left arm to be thick you wanted to be a thick long boy You could totally do so um, I used to do that for one of my characters back in, um, Origin Olympus Season 2. When he activated a certain form, his arm would be super, super long. So, you could do that, or if you just wanted to make sure that everything is exactly, like, you know, proportional, uh, you could make it so both your arms do that. So, that you could do that, you could do the same thing with legs, you could be taller, you could be smaller. Um, yeah. So, there's that. Also, if you're ever curious, yes, with, uh, more player models, you can, in fact, turn into um, entities as well. So you could be a dog, you could be an animal, you could be any kind of mod. Just be careful because sometimes some mods, if you're doing stuff with modded series, sometimes NPM and other mods don't like each other and might crash your game slash server. So just, uh, just a heads up. My Vanilla Minecraft works perfectly fine, but once you start getting into the modded territory, uh, all I recommend is to just be careful. That's all I say. That's basically everything here. Just be careful. Okay, so now, now that we're on, that's basically all you need to know for more, oh, one more thing. I forgot to mention one more thing when it comes to more player models. If you are doing more player models with multiple people, say if you're on a server with multiple people and you guys are using HD skins or you're changing your skins left and right, um, but they're not showing up on your end, um, what I recommend to do is press F12, you go to config, and you spam, you spam that reload skins button. Because reload skins will reload everything around you, which is, um, sometimes it will work. Sometimes it will work. If this doesn't work, and you do that, and your friends are still, not, skins are still not showing up, what I recommend to do is, and this is also goes for you too, because sometimes you will see your skin, but your friends won't. I recommend switching to a completely different skin get out of it go back into it and then go into your actual skin and that will reload everything that's something that we have to do a lot here on the servers because a lot of people are running a lot of mods and there's like you know 20 plus people on the server it kind of lags a little bit so that's one thing that you need to know so that is all you need to know for more player models also too you want to be very very specific for it yes you could put body parts on it and you could give yourself ears um tails yada yada they're not the best in the world like if you give yourself like a tail like it's not the best the, the models aren't that good but if you want to use them you most certainly can and you could color them size them blah 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 yeah it's very good all right so now you learn stuff about more player models now we're going to be doing some fun stuff here now we, we i might lose a couple of you during this so bear with me this is going to be a tad bit more difficult to do but this is still kind of basics here okay this is still kind of basics that you're going to be doing i'm going to be teaching you exactly how to do all this stuff as much as you possibly can all right so here we go here we go all right so this Steve right here behind me is a 
model block from the mod called Blockbuster. This is your best friend. Steve is your best friend. Because Steve is the reason why everything behind me is currently the way it is. And how to do so is you right click on Steve and it brings up this menu here. In order to do that, um, if you just want to immediately edit a C, like you just want just a skin on top of Steve, it's really easy. You hit edit on the Steve, which brings up this menu here. You go to materials, pick skin, woohoo! And then you copy paste it just like, um, just like you did with more player models. You back it out, booyah, Steve is now skinned. Now, if you wanted a specific model, now it's gonna get a little bit more tricky. So there's that. Um, we learned how to make skin and everything, which by the way too, if you wanted to like say create a pose, you can make him dab, you can make him lie and stuff like that. You could have him literally, you know, be dabbing for the rest of the time. Or if you wanted to create your own pose, you could do create pose and you could go ahead and rotate them. You can make your arms move around. You can make them bigger, yada, yada. You could do it. Basically limitations are your imagination. So work around with it. I'm certain you can figure it out. Thank you, Steve, for that. Now, now my friends, how am I making these models? As you can see, these models here, we have my Riku model from MHO. This is her hero outfit. This is just normal Riku outfit. And this is my evil character, Rain, which you can see has multiple pieces to it. It has a moving tail piece to it. He has a knife and he's got ears. This one might be a tad bit more difficult, so we might have to leave Rain for a later intermediate slash advanced video because these are three different models on top of one model and one model is currently moving as a sequencer. So that one might be a little bit more difficult. We might have to touch that up on a different video, but that is perfectly fine. Um, let's go ahead, Riku here, middle Riku, is probably the easiest that we're gonna be doing today. So, also, why are you Steve? Why is there a Steve back there? You were a hat before. Why are you Steve? Better, thank you. <laughs> um, so here we go. This Riku model, this is exactly what uh, what she looks like normally. Um, in order to, you know, get the size right, I updated the global scale, which is, you know, you can edit, you could do this, you can make Riku really, really big, you can make Riku really, really small, but if you wanted to, like, specifically do specific measurements, you could always, you know, type in in there. If you really wanted to, you could take that. It's really simple. Uh, you know, just do what you got to do over here. Also, GUI scale, I don't really mess with. It's not really that big of a deal. So, yeah. Also, we could make Riku dab if we wanted to. But the hat is not moving. Why is the hat not moving with Riku's head? Isn't that part of his head? Technically, yes. Yes, but actually, no. So, first off. First off, my friends. You could do two ways, okay? We could do two ways. Which, by the way, I should probably uh, show you the harder way that we're doing first. And I'll show you an easier way. But there is some problems when we do the easier way. So I'm going to show you guys the harder way first. This hat is actually a body part on, touch, uh, on top of Riku. It's actually attached to her body. Um, you can see that it moves around like so. It's attached right there. I just have it, you know, plopping right there. And it lies on her head. Now, how do I get that going? Well, you we added a body part. You add a body part right here. You pick, an, uh, you pick a model, which by the way, importing models is a completely other related thing that we're probably gonna have to, probably gonna have to show you over time. But you can see all these models that I currently have right now. Let's just give Riku one of my favorite old models here. Um, this is Alamos, one of my other series. Basically just a black back floating thing behind him. Let's just give Riku that, cause why the heck not? Um, we're going to back out here. Right now, it's not attached to anything. Excuse me, it's not attached to anything because it's not attached to a body part. So let's say body, and there it is. There is the model there. You could have it so that it goes like, you know, attached to their head, attached to their um, arms. You could have it to their legs. You could have it to there. It's up to you how you want to do it. But uh, let's just say we attach to the body because the body is the is probably the easiest. So in order to bring this down, all you have to do is find the right measurement and booyah. Now Riku has this behind her. You could have it too, like if you wanted it so like, you know, it's attached to the arm or something, you could have it so that she's holding it. But um, for the sake of the item, this is what it looks like. It does clip here, but you know, that's what you're just going to have to deal with it. You know, it's Minecraft. Not everything's perfect. <laughs> so that's pretty much 
that. That is really easy. Now, we have that right there. So cool. You have this as a model now. Yay! This is a model. How do you become said model? Well, that's really simple, my friends. One of the things that you should do is go back to right click, pick click, and then you hit this button called acquire. Once you hit acquire, you'll see that. It actually popped up right here. Um, you can see that this is the model that we just acquired. So all you have to do is press B, and I would just B by default, which is uh, will bring up your creative morph menu. By the way, you have to be in creative. I just assumed you're in creative at this point, but you're in creative mode. You go over to here, morph. And now, all of a sudden, you are Riku. Aha, look at here. But you can see there's a mini problem here with this model, which is something that I'm very glad that I didn't check out. Why the heck? So the hat is on my head, but the hat is not moving. Why is the hat not moving with it? It is because the hat is currently attached to the body and not attached to the head. So in order to do so, you go over to here, body, you attach to the head. And now all of a sudden, now let's do this back what we are doing. We'll acquire that. We will, by the way, if you want to get out of your morph, you press the period button on your computer and it will get you out of that morph. And booyah, now it moves with her head. There you go. It's not good. And also, the model behind her will stick with her at all times because um, because it's just a, it's basically like an attachment. Think of it as like a body part. It's always going to stay on her at all times. Now you can hold like items as well if you wanted to, which is really cool. The only problem about using models compared to doing more player model stuff is yeah, you can make your characters look stupidly cool and add body parts and make them do cool things. But you can't do the simple commands of like slash sit, slash lay, slash crawl when you're in a model. See, if we did this, we're out of the model. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, that was a model. That's 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 another thing we'll talk about. That's emoticons. Um, we're going to do that and we're going to do slash sit. Normally, this would make her sit. This is because we're just a normal Minecraft thing. If we're going around here. We're jumping around, making sure that that stays that way. We're going to go into the model slash sit. That's what happens. <laughs> it makes her sink a little bit into the ground because the model is you're sitting, but you don't have animations in your legs to make it so that you sit. You have to like do some things to like, you know, make it so that if you wanted to slash sit, you can do that. But that's stuff that even I don't really mess with because it's not really worth it. Um, that being said, though, you can you can sit in. Um, you can sit on chairs, so if you have a chair here, it will it will actually give you the animation of sitting on a chair. I believe it will do the same thing if you get the animation of sleeping on a bed. You could do that, but that's pretty much it. You can't like slash hug, slash point. You can't really do any of the, like the, you know, the other models. You can't slash wave or anything like that. So you're limited when you're a model, but you look freaking cool. So there's that. <laughs> Let's get out of the model there. Hopefully I didn't lose a lot of you. I know like I was saying this is kind of a lot So if I'm if I'm losing any of you, please let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to try my best to either You know write back to you on the comments or I will Make another video to explain it a little bit more now as well here You see how I did this for Riku here. This is kind of exactly what I did for this model right here very very similar we hit edit and the body parts are that she currently has the hat on her body which by the way it should be attached to her head there and the body is um we have this attached to the um to her back as well so it will always be on her back um obviously this means that this is always going to be on her back there's no like animation you have to do specific animations if you wanted her to take this off her back to hold it, you have to basically be a separate model that doesn't have this on her back in order for that to work. And you have to do like, you know, some like editing, blah, blah, blah. It's good. Now, lastly, we're gonna be talking about Rain here, but Rain is a special case because Rain is also an emoticons model. So Rain is a tad bit different because as you could probably tell immediately, the menu is a tad bit different. If we go to poses, now we have access to not just the normal limbs, but we can actually bend his like his wrists and elbows as well. 
And if we go to the, also, if you go to meshes now, if you wanted to import a skin into, um, into a emoticons, you hit body instead and then hit texture right here, which is right here, pick texture. That's what it's basically, that's pick texture means pick skin pretty much. And if we go to body parts, we have three body parts right here. So we have right now on right arm, which is the knife. We have a body piece, which is a moving sequencer tail, which goes back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Um, it will always do that repeatingly, which I'll show you in another video how exactly we do that. And then we have on the head, the ears, which are, um, which are so like that. There are three different models attached to rain. And because we have that, the only problem though, is that if you plan on giving a model, a weapon on their hand already, say we do this, we hit, we hit that. Um, we hit here, we hit that, we morph into rain. We are now rain, which by the way, we're kind of like moving around. It's kind of weird, but also you will hold the knife and an item in that hand. Um, unless I believe if you do, well, let's say skin customization. Okay, it doesn't work with emoticons. Never mind. It does with uh, regular skins, but it doesn't work with emoticons. So yeah, that's one thing too. If you if you attach an item to that person already, don't have them hold items unless they're holding unless you're trying to get them to hold multiple items in one hand. Yeah. All right. Whoo. That's a little bit uh, lengthy. That was a little bit of a lengthier video, but I think that will do it for the basic tutorial how to make a character. That's basics. I know, it wasn't really that basic, honestly. But we got to show you a couple of stuff that maybe that will help you get in, um, get like, you know, your um, your foot in the door when it comes to making your characters inside of Minecraft. Even if you're not role-playing, like, it's just kind of cool walking around as models, you know? It's kind of cool. And, you know, there's the new thing of doing SMPs every, every other two seconds. So maybe, you know, you could use this for SMPs. I'll be showing you some more intermediate and advanced stuff when it comes to characters. And if you have any more specifics, let me know if you want me to teach you anything else about role plays. I'm probably going to be trying my best to do as many as possible for you guys because you guys seem to be kind of interested about that. But on that note, guys, thank you guys for joining. And um, hopefully, uh, you know, you stick around. I would appreciate you seeing you come back sometime. All right, guys. Thank you so much. And until next time, take care.